Well hi folks, Stratman here from pipware.com. Last video uh, for the Linux installation was to install Wine 1.3 from Wine Headquarters. Uh, then we installed the Visual C Runtime 6 library from Microsoft using Wine Tricks. And then we copied the font files off an existing um, PC. Uh, uh, in my case it was a, a Windows 2000 machine, it could have been an XP machine, anything like that. So once all that's done it's just a simple case of going to um, your Mozilla Firefox, uh, hitting download for a uh, MT4 demo uh, exe file. You may already have one on your system on a memory stick, you could plug that into the system and get it off there just like you could transfer your fonts uh, from a Windows machine to this machine via a memory stick. So anyway, um, if you click on Places and go to Downloads, that's where your uh, MT4 would be downloaded if you downloaded it off the internet. So let's uh, just see that. I've got a small bug with my uh, virtual machine here, nothing to do with uh, Ubuntu itself. just freezes my screen just occasionally so some things look a little bit slower. Basically, it's determining that this is a Windows application, but typically what you would do is you'd right-click and go open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Um, sometimes when Wine's installed, it can actually get it straight away without having to do that. So if you double-click on it, um, it doesn't need to... Be, it already knows that it's a Windows program, so we'll uh, just install. So there we go, there's the install file. We just go through the normal MT4 installation which I'm going to do now is my screen kind of hopefully unfreezes for me occasionally okay and we just accept all the defaults oh, that's what I do anyway and there we go we've got our MetaTrader installing creating the shortcut I'm not going to choose the launch at the moment because I want to show you on the desktop what's happening so if we close all this what you should end up with is that on your desktop you'll have a MetaTrader shortcut. Um, just double click on it to run it. There's nothing special about trying to run it up. And if everything has gone to plan, uh, within a short time the wine emulation or, or wine system will, will kick into life and uh, start up your MetaTrader. Um, I do notice the very first time you try to run it, it's a bit slow, uh, but then subsequent times it's it's relatively quick. So we've got the screen come up to enter in all your details. I'm going to do that very quickly. And I've entered in my details, just clicking there. Uh, the sound actually works on my system, but not on this virtual image. Um, and away we go. And the very first thing that will probably pop up is that I need to run my update which we'll do and uh, MetaTrader will just update itself and at the end we'll do a restart and everything should be pretty fine for most of the main functions I use MetaTrader for which is typically just for analyzing the market um, this is working quite adequately I haven't tested everything uh, in MT4 so I have heard that some people have had trouble with Backtester um, in Linux, haven't tested it yet. So if anyone does this installation that I'm doing here, if they want to try it out and comment back on the thread here, that'd be great. And after the update here is finished, um, we'll see the the uh, box come up to say restart our MetaTrader, and we'll be into doing our normal trading work. So there we go, update and restart, and it's all back again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that video, um, and uh, in subsequent videos I'll show you some more things like installing indicators and experts and so on, and how you actually get them all in there, uh, where you go, uh, how you hook up a Windows machine, uh, say if you've got a laptop that's got Windows on and you've got this as a desktop that's got Linux on, how do you get files off your laptop onto here if you're connected to the same network, etc, etc and we'll, we'll install Office 2003 as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. This is Stratman out.